Guys, hi. Um, today we're looking at something a little out of the ordinary. This is a RAID disc um, system, um, and it's made by G Technology, an American company, or as they're known, G Tech for short. Uh, and this is the G Tech G Speed ES. That's Echo Sierra. Um, it's very well known in the video editing industry. It's one of the most popular bolt-on RAID arrays that you can get. Um, and you basically just chuck one of these onto your Mac and you can instantly start to edit high definition video. Um, it's relevant to studios I think because um, there are plenty of people out there who are not just doing MIDI um, compositions and adding limited amounts of audio over the top but there are plenty of people running actual studios and uh, they require much higher track counts and much higher simultaneous recording track rates and um, of course there's people out there who want to record at 2496 or 88k or 2448 or whatever but um, generally it's all about more tracks okay and bolting one of these onto your system will instantly give you that now um, I was going to say that it's very cost effective because I paid 599 XVAT British pounds for this just before Christmas 2008 and that I think was fantastic value for what you get but I checked the prices yesterday and with all this currency things that have been going on over the last few months you would not believe it but this has leapt in price I mean it's it's almost a thousand pounds I mean you'd be lucky to find this for under 900 pounds now which is you know a terrible shame because at 680 including VAT it was fantastic value even though that's you know, quite a bit of money for the home studio user but I think for the for the semi-pro budget studio that is doing real band recording and needs to get those high track rates it's still a very viable product that we should look at because it's the you know one of the most pop popular or if not the most popular product of this type in the video editing industry okay basically you can buy it as a bundle in which case you get the, con the uh, PCIe eSATA controller card the cables and the cabinet with the discs fitted and you can buy the card or the cabinet separately okay now um, the cabinet can be purchased in four different configs and all that is to do with is the size of the discs that are fitted okay uh, they fit Hitachi discs uh, to these things uh, 7200 rpm SATA drives yeah and basically um, you can buy the cabinet in configuration of one two three or four terabytes okay the one terabyte will have four 250 gig drives making a terabyte in total. The four terabyte will have four 1000 gigabyte or terabyte drives in it giving four terabyte total. This I went for the bang for buck middle one which is the two terabyte which gives you four um, 500 gig drives making a total of two terabytes. Um, out of the box it's straight it's striped as Rado and you get about 1.8 something terabytes of space after all the striping and formatting. Um, okay. So um, this is the bundle. The cabinet itself, which is self-powered, it's got its own power supply built in, it's got its own cooling fan to cool the unit, the drives. Um, you get the controller card with it. Uh, you get a little key to open the cabinet drive sledges. You get the mains lead, which has uh, got a 5 amp fuse. A nice 2 metre long, um, well it's certainly longer than a metre, it's either a metre and a half or 2 metres without getting out the tape measure. Um, E-SATA cable. And then you've got your, um, you got a, you know, they give you a brochure with all the other products in it and uh, you get the driver disc which has also got the PDF user manual. And they also cleverly put this Read Me First card in, which you can't help but notice. And it's very brief, so you do actually read it. And this just gives you very important information to stop you sort of opening the package and blundering on with installing it. Um, basically, this just tells you some very important stuff about whether you're going to be using it with a Mac only, a Windows machine only, or whether you want the RAID to be used by both a Windows machine and a Mac. Okay. So... Let's move all the accessories out of the way and just look at the two main items. Okay, let's look at this card. As I say, you can buy this card separately. 
there it is, there's the four E SATA ports on there. Okay. Um, there it is, it's a PCIe card. There. Um, that's the RAID controller chip on it there, that square one. So move that around. That is the RAID controller chip. There's also a little electronic old PC style beeper on there as well because the card and the cabinet both have got electronic alarms built in to warn you should something happen. Um, yeah this is a high point uh, card it's a high, a high point rocket raid 2314 okay and uh, basically if you've got a Mac Pro this you put into number four slot the top slot in your Mac Pro okay so that's the card um, you know obviously with 4E SATA slots you can hang four of these cabinets off it and that's what I love about this system it's scalable you just put another cabinet on and you've instantly doubled your bandwidth you put four cabinets onto this card and you get over 600 megasecond and that allows you to edit multiple streams of high def uncompressed video um, or even you know 2k cine and stuff okay so that's the card and let's have a look at this cabinet in a little more detail I'll take the camera off the stand and let's zoom in and have a look at it There she is. It's extremely pretty. It's um, built out of you know this kind of anodized aluminium. It's heavy as hell. It really is heavy. And um, there's the four drive sledges on the front, and each of them has got an, a disc activity light and a little keyhole to open it. And down at the bottom, you've got the on-off activity light showing you the units on, and there's a warning LED as well as the audible warnings. Um, to show you about errors because you can turn the beeper off once you get into the control panel of this thing when it's connected. There it is. Let's have a look round at the back. There you can see there's a big old cooling fan on there. This is a this is a standard size replaceable fan, so you can um, you can change this even on location. You know, it's not hard to access it, and it's a standard size. And you just bung in any fan you like that's quiet. Here's your on-off switch. There's your power supply fan, your mains obviously, your eSATA connector there and they've also um, included a cable lock slot if you want to cable lock this down which is quite useful. Um, underneath there are four big rubber feet and it sits very nicely on the desk but this thing is heavy, I mean it weighs a lot. Okay, so there it is. Beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful piece of kit, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'll tell you what we'll do now, I'm going to show you one of the drives, how to access the drive sledges and we'll show you one of the drives inside. It's, it's absolutely a doddle. Alright, how much time we got left? Not much, but we should fit this in. So what you do is you get the little plastic key and you simply put it into the lock hole like that. The lever springs open, you then use that lever to ease it out of its connecting slots at the back and then pull out the sledge and there it is. And then all you've got to do is uh, undo the screws and fit a new drive. So changing the drives in these is, is easy, easy peasy and you can choose what size and what price you want to pay for your uh, SATA 2 drives. You can put enterprise class drives in or whatever you like, you know. Um, these are Hitachi desk stars, yeah? Okay. So that's the drive, and to put it back, you just put the new drive in, attach it with the screws, slide it back in like that. There we go. And then for the very last bit, you don't press that lever, you just press it like that until this is flush on the edge, and then lock it. There you go. Um, so that's the cabinet, um, standalone. Um, yeah. The, basically once you've got this set up with the controller card you can choose a variety of different RAID formats uh, you can have uh, striped RAID 0, you can have um, RAID 1 um, mirrored, you can have RAID 5 which is striped with parity and it will also allow you with multiple discs if you bolt on another one of these racks um, or, or cabinets you can stripe it as uh, RAID 10 where it's striped and um, you've got mirroring as well to give you double the bandwidth and uh, safety. So let's leave it at that, get the card installed and boot her up and show you in action.